The day was perfect. The plan was carefully plotted. Executive Director of the Foundation, Major General Robert Nish, and Aline Rankin were ready to rewrite the pages of history for the Coburn Gardens Primary and Junior High School in Kingston. They have been interviewing us. We met for the first time, socializing of course, and yes. then the project that we have invited them to help us with. So they came on to see what's happening, just to look at the areas. We checked a room before and now this is a computer room. This is um, potentially a very useful uh, program, meeting the students and seeing how they are responding to the effort that the teachers are making at the moment. And, and we feel that this is something that can really uh, benefit them very much. And so, you know, Ms. Davis, we've been asking a lot of questions. We've been trying to see how you fit into the, 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 the scheme of the Digicel Foundation and what we can do to help. And I'm really very, very pleased to tell you now that we have approved. Wow! That's great! Come on, children! Wow! We are prepared this morning to offer you a grant for $2 million. Wow! students will improve their reading, will be able to compete healthily in the reading competition, and improve your computer skills. <laughs> this is well. okay. that is a secret. So long. So, this Thank you so, so much, sir. Yes. Oh, yes. my we're, God. We're this delighted is to be able to help. And we'll work with you all Thanks the way through this million. program. Thanks two million. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We have waited for so long for something like this. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I expected it because I know of the work the foundation does. So basically, this was expected. I mean, the faces alone, the gracious faces alone, let's make it worthwhile working with the Digital Foundation. They're just so glad to be here to offer this good news to you guys. Peace for prosperity. We need some unity to make peace flow and our country will glow. The idea is that Digicel Foundation will help to advance telecommunications through training at the Telecommunications Department at the University of the West Indies. For seven years, the Foundation will sponsor communication policies. Students in the field of telecommunication will also get the opportunity to work at Digicel. When the University of the West Indies approached Digicel Foundation, they were very responsive and willing to make what has turned out to be the largest endowment in any chair in the University of the West Indies, the Digicel Foundation Chair in Telecoms Policy and Regulation. It is part of, I believe, a public spiritedness that has enabled a lot of Caribbean and Jamaican students in particular to benefit through training and through the upgrading of their technical and professional skills. One of the important contributions, I believe, is that it will reduce the need, hopefully, for constantly bringing into the Caribbean expatriate professionals who will fill positions that are not currently available or currently being filled by Jamaican nationals. This is the first program of the sort in this region and I think what it will do is to provide the professional skills to a wider cross-section of um, people so that they can contribute more at a senior level in the telecommunication industry. For one thing, it means that they have a program that is internationally recognized, that is in one of the major regional institutions, with an ability to help them gain qualifications and new levels of education. And that has been through, in part, the support of the Digicel Foundation. Students in the field of telecommunication will also get the opportunity to work at Digicel. Digicel showed that it's not a selfish player. Um, the people who are participating in this program, they are going to go back into different industries. Digicel has now um, exemplified <laughs> what we would say a good corporate citizen. <laughs> The Jesse Ripoll Primary School Resource Center in Kingston is now equipped with computers, workstations, learning software, 
and games after a grant of two million dollars from the Digicel Foundation. What they've done there in that particular resource room is that we put in a little bit of computers to help the children who have remedial reading. Learning is now more fun and interesting for the students. We put in an audio center so they could actually listen to vowel sounds. Um, we also have an early childhood teacher situated in that particular room from the Jesse Paul Primary School. And their reading results went up. I believe they're in the top five readers in primary schools in Jamaica. So that to me is a fantastic story and that's something we'd like to replicate throughout Jamaica. The Genesis Academy caters to students 12 to 21 years of age with special needs and disabilities. Digicel's David Hall handed over a check valuing $275,000 to Genesis Academy, his charity of choice, after an amazing performance in the Fame and Fortune game show in June 2007. That was one of the projects that I suppose when we, we went on to Fame and Fortune and there was a number of people from various uh, companies, NCB, Courts, um, ourselves um, and we had to turn around and pick um, a project and I, I got um, was fortunate enough to turn around and I suppose and um, get given the Genesis school oh ten thousand dollars remember this is for charity now and it's one that really I suppose since then has grown um, and I've become you know I suppose link stronger with that particular project and that school and um, more recently you know John Barnes was over for the football clinic and we made sure that John went and visited the school and you know played around the kids and played soccer and that and I think it went down very well and we're working with the school and finding a new home um, and trying to I suppose build uh, a longer term uh, foundation for that school. After Hurricane Ivan, a number of schools across the island were damaged. The Digicel Foundation distributed $200 million to carry out repairs. The Jose Marti High School had a typing class that used old typewriters, and they wanted to advance into the age of modern technology. The first class after this upgrading got 100% passes. Some of the students at the Fern Court High School in St. Anne could not read at required high school level. The solution was to build a resource room and the Digicel Foundation helped to get the computer reading software into the school that would better aid the children to develop their reading skills. The Digicel Foundation is dedicated to improving the quality of life for every Jamaican by empowering, supporting and inspiring positive energy across the island.